Sister Lee. Yes? There's something I don't get. What? As believers, our sins are forgiven and we're saved by grace. So why must we accept God's judgment in the last days to enter his kingdom? Almighty God's word is utterly clear on this. Let's read God's word to understand. Okay. Though Jesus did much work among men, he only completed the redemption of all mankind and became man's sin offering. He did not rid man of all his corrupt disposition, fully saving man from the influence of Satan. Not only required Jesus to become the sin offering and bear the sins of man, but it also required God to do even greater work, to rid man completely of his satanically corrupted disposition. And so, now that man has been forgiven of his sins, God has returned to the flesh to lead man into the new age and begun the work of chastisement and judgment. This work has brought man into a higher realm all those who submit under his dominion shall enjoy higher truth and receive greater blessings. They shall truly live in the light, and they shall gain the truth, the way, and the life. Amen. What's wrong? It's the police! Hide these, quick! This way. Hurry! Open up! Open up! Hurry and open that door! Open the door! Don't move! What Get are you down! Doing? This gathering's illegal. I've had my eye on you for a while. Where's Lee Shit? I don't know her. Don't know her? Lies! You have no ah. right to do that! Shut up! Now talk! Where is she? I don't know. Tell us! Chief! They ah. used the window! Get him! Bastard! Let go! Get off me! Ah. 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 Damn it! Ah. Make it hurt! Chief Wong, Li Jin got away. Idiot! Do whatever it takes to find her! Yes, sir! Damn it. She can run, but she can't hide. Take them! Get them! <laughs> Yao Ting? Yes? This needs your signature. Okay. Thank you. Shen Yao Ting. Yes, sir. This is Chief Huang from National Security with some questions. Okay. Chief Huang. Shen Yao Ting. We've learned that your wife, Li Xin, preaches the gospel. Are you aware of this? Where is she now? Has she reached out to you? Chief Huang, she's done nothing illegal by believing in God. So why search for her? Shen Yao Ting. As a party member, you should be clear on our policies. The Communist Party forbids any belief in God. We've been watching Li Xin for a long time. She's a leader in the Church of Almighty God and a fugitive. We'd like your assistance in locating your wife and persuading her to confess. Or else when we catch her, she'll pay dearly. I don't understand. How can faith make someone a criminal? You seem quite protective of your wife's faith. Are you one of them as well? Of course not. Chief Huang, Chen Yao Ting has worked here nearly 20 years. He's always been responsible. He never caused problems. He doesn't hold religious beliefs. We're sure of that. It's best you don't. You should assist the government in finding your wife. If she tells us the truth about her belief in God and signs a letter relinquishing her faith, bygones will be bygones. I honestly don't know where she is. And besides, my wife's free to choose her own path in life. I can't interfere with that. It seems you won't cooperate. If you won't interfere in your wife's faith, we'll interfere in your work. Our policies regarding believers' family members allow the government to fire them repossess their land and their homes, and bar their children from schools and public office. Choose your next steps wisely.
Yes. Oh, sure. I'm coming. Agreed. One of my neighbors was arrested for her faith. Her daughter was in university, and the school expelled her. Oh, that's awful. What a shame. Mr. Ma, we need you to be proactive. If this goes to our superiors, it won't be good for you. Don't worry. We'll cooperate. Great. Duty calls. So long. Okay, take care. Bye. Take care. Yao Ting, you can't let your wife keep her faith. If you do, you'll lose your job. That's right. Your son just passed the civil service exam. It's your duty to think of his future. Ah, Director. Yao Ting, you need to convince your wife to come back and confess. If you don't, I'll have to let you go. It's national policy. There's nothing I can do to protect you. But, Director, please, sir. Li Shen. Li Shen, open up. Yao Ting? <sighs> Finding this place you rented was tricky. I couldn't ask for help. That would give you away. What's going on? The police just came to my office asking about you. I'm to give you a message. If you tell them everything about your faith and sign off that you'll relinquish it, there won't be any problems. Otherwise, they're going to fire me. If I lose my job, then how will our family survive? So that's why you came to see me? You would like me to turn myself in and confess everything? Sign a guarantee? Betray my brothers, sisters, and even God? Is that what you mean? No, that is not what I mean. Then tell me what it is you want. Why do you look so hard to find me? I have no objections to your faith. But the CCP is going to get me fired. And our son is going to lose his job. That means all of our futures will be ruined. I thought you should know all of this. What are your thoughts on it? You understand enough to realize what age we're living in now. There are more and more disasters. So if we resist God now, we'll succumb to the great disaster. You think your work is your future? Your job's the shackle that binds you to hell. The Lord Jesus said long ago, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Almighty God's performing judgment in the last days, and by now has made a group of overcomers. The kingdom of heaven has appeared on earth. Why can't you see it? Why do you continue to think of your career? You're not facing reality. When the great disaster comes, can your career save you? Can the CCP save you? Do not listen to the CCP. Don't let them use you to stand in the way of my faith. You say the disaster's coming. But it hasn't arrived yet. We'll have time for faith once a disaster comes. Right now the CCP holds all the power. They want to cut off our whole lifeline. You have to consider me and our son. You just think of entering the kingdom of heaven, and you totally disregard our lives. You can't be so selfish. You say I haven't considered the two of you? How could you say such a terrible thing? How many times have I shared the gospel and explained the importance of faith, but you refuse to accept the truth? You admit God exists, but won't believe in him. You impose your will on me when the CCP persecutes you. Who's really being selfish here? If the great disaster came tomorrow and you were about to die, it would be too late to begin believing in God. The gate of grace would be closed by then. Why not confront the CCP? Why don't you resent them? You're nothing but a slave. The Communist Party is a bunch of rogues. If you disobey, they make life impossible. What should I do? If you continue your faith, you're going to bring ruin onto the rest of us. And you're calling me a slave. You'll just go through the motions. 
Give them some information. Tell them you'll stop believing, then believe all you want after. Isn't that the same thing? You fear them and don't dare to believe. Now you're helping them by trying to coerce me? I'm doing this for our family. Don't you see it? Don't you see you've become a tool of Satan? You're standing with Satan and resisting God. You have a part in the CCP's sins. When the great disaster comes, don't you fear being one of the doomed evildoers? If you keep believing, you're bound to be arrested and our family will be ruined. It's the CCP that's destroying our family. That's enough. Wait for them to arrest you. Yao Ting! Those whom God refers to as overcomers are those who are still able to stand witness and maintain their confidence and devotion to God. When under the influence of Satan, and while being laid siege to by Satan, that is, when they find themselves amidst the forces of darkness. If you are still able to keep a pure heart before God and maintain your genuine love for God no matter what, then you are standing witness in front of God. And this is what God refers to as being an overcomer. Richie, don't worry. I'm sure we'll convince your mom. I know, Grandma. Who's there? It's me. Luigi. Mom. Mom. Come in. Careful. Luigi, you're so busy. Why'd you come back? Mom, the police came to my office. They gave me a week to convince you to turn yourself in and sign a guarantee you won't believe, or else they would make sure I was fired. Your poor son came all this way because of all this. He's worried about it. They saw your younger brother and his wife, too. They said if you don't sign, they'd both be expelled from school, and they'd lose their teaching jobs. Mom, please go sign the paper. Luigi, do you understand the consequences if I sign? I'd be denying and betraying God. That's Satan's precise goal in doing all of this. Surely you can see that, huh? Luchi, you've read God's word. You know God created man. It's right that we believe in and worship God. But the CCP forbids us to take the right path. It wants us to follow it down the path to destruction. The CCP wants to destroy everyone who believes in God. It's clearly a demon that resists God. The way the CCP uses your jobs to make me betray God is one of Satan's tricks. Luichi, you're a man now. You should be able to see through Satan's scheme. Don't let yourself be fooled, please. Mom, I already know about all this, but I don't have a choice. Becoming a civil servant was very difficult. If you keep your faith, you'll cause me to get fired and branded as a child of a political criminal. I'll just get manual labor jobs after this. Mom, you need to consider my future. You need to think about your son. There's even more. Because you won't sign it, I've been demoted to a minor official and sent to a remote village where I'm a social pariah. Do you want our son to suffer the same fate, huh? Do you want the same for your little brother and his family? If you insist on believing, you'll ruin the lives of the whole family. That's it. No matter what, 
You must give up your faith. What do you think you're doing? Yao Ting! Don't you realize what's coming? The great disaster's about to come, and all who resist God will be punished. What kind of future could unbelievers like you have? The CCP will be destroyed in all this. What will your positions count for in the disaster? Will they be able to save you? Luqi, the kingdom of heaven has already come. Believing in God and repenting is the only way to gain his protection in the disaster. This is the only path to salvation. Only sincere believers in God will have a good future and destiny. Mom, I know the Communist Party will fall, but they're in power right now. They'll ruin our lives if we believe. What choice do we have? Once the CCP falls, you can believe in anything and no one will interfere. But right now, we must do what it takes to survive. Shin. Shin, please listen to me. Give up your faith. If you keep believing, then the lives of everyone in this whole family will be ruined. Your mother is an old woman now. I can't take that kind of hardship, please. Mom. Just what are you doing? Get Mom. up! Mom! Mom, I'm begging you. Stop this. Luchi, please stand up. Mom! I beg you! Shin, you want me to get on my knees too? Mom! Can't you see how you're forcing me? Luchi, stop kneeling. Stand up! Why do you kneel to me? Do you think you're being filial? You're trying to force me. You want me to deny God to save your job. Do you know how heartbreaking this is for me? <sighs> I tried so many times to get you to believe in God. Even though you know God has returned, you refuse to accept him, and now you persecute me for my faith. You just don't know what's what. Stop! Li Shen, if you insist on believing, we've no choice but to cut ties with you. From now on, we go our own ways. Do you want to keep your family? Or do you want your God? Right now, you have to make your choice. Shin, please say something. Mom! You're right that it is time to choose. The CCP persecutes my faith. As my own family, you not only won't support me, but go along with the CCP to protect yourselves. Now you want to cut ties with me? Okay, let's end things here. I've said all that I can. You refuse to accept God, so when the great disaster comes, the CCP will be destroyed first, and when you all follow it, straight down to hell. Don't blame me for not warning you. From now on, we'll go our own ways and live our own lives. <sighs> Fine. <clears throat> Hold on. Mom! Shin! You asked for this divorce? I respect your choice. Shin! <laughs> Mom! Luichi, you are an adult now. As a mother, I've done all that I can. I choose to follow God. You've chosen the CCP. We'll go our own ways. But you need to see, I'm not the one who destroyed our family. It's the CCP that drives us apart and shatters our family. This is the CCP's doing. I really don't understand how you can be so stubborn. It's this cursed Communist Party. 
a perfectly happy family just ruined like this.先先做工，却遭大轰隆镇压追捕。经历逼迫、患难、失恋，看清恶魔丑恶嘴脸，心里更恨大轰隆，认定基督就是真理。不管有多少试探，我誓死跟随基督